Hello, 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 beautiful soul family. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Father's Day. If you're catching this on the replay, do me a favor and hashtag replay. I'm just going to be one minute. Um, but this quote has been ringing in my spirit, like literally all weekend. Um, the quote is supposedly um, con uh, contributed to... Um, Albert Einstein and the quote says something like this and I'm just gonna quote part of the quote um, but the quote says that um, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and so I just want to encourage you whoever you are under the sound of my voice today blessings to you King Rennell how you doing today so I want to encourage you today to tap into your intuitive mind. There is a sacred gift on the inside of you. When I was in religion, I was taught that sacredness or holiness was, you know, an external thing, like how we dressed, how we looked. But sacredness has nothing to do with your external appearance sacredness is a holiness uh, that's on the inside of you okay and you have a sacred gift you have a holy gift hello king brother Stefan you have a sacred gift on the inside of you and it's called your intuitive mind your intuition and most of us ignore that gift and most of us when we are ready to make a decision when we're ready to um, uh, you know, uh, change some part of our life, rather than tapping into our heart center, rather than tapping into our intuitive mind, our intuition, our inner knowing, that esoteric wisdom, we tend to use our rational mind or our conscious mind, right? And so I wanna just encourage you today, beautiful souls, that you have a gift and it's on the inside of you, it's deep within you. It's laying under all the layers of trauma, it's laying under all the layers of, you know, whatever you've experienced in your past, and you're making decisions, you're approaching um, new opportunities based on old programming. And I wanna just encourage you that you have a gift. It's called your intuition. When I was in religion, they taught us to ignore our heart. When I was a pastor, I taught other people to ignore their heart. The Bible says that the heart is wicked, all right? So you were taught to ignore your feelings. You're welcome, Rennell. We were taught to ignore our feelings. We were taught to ignore our heart, all right? Well, let me tell you something. That's just not true, all right? Your heart is the place of knowing, all right? You have to trust what you know without always having um you're not going to always have proof of what you know you're not going to have evidence of what you know internally okay so this is where faith comes into play not faith in some invisible god that you can't see but faith in yourself faith in your intuitive mind faith in your feeling sometimes it's just a gut feeling that you have all right you can't explain it you don't have any evidence you don't know why you feel that way you don't know why you know something is going to happen but you just know you just can feel it let me know in the comments have you ever experienced it where you could just feel something was going to manifest and it did you could feel that something was going to happen and it did, all right? Sometimes you just think about a person and the next thing you know, that person is calling you, that person is contacting you, right? You ever just thought about a person and then ne the next thing you know, you bump into that person or that person contacts you or you see that person online, right? That's called your intuition, all right? That's called your heart knowing Okay, because your heart, and I'm not talking about the heart, I'm not talking about your organ, not the heart that's beating, that's pumping blood, not that heart. I'm talking about that internal heart, that chakra, all right? That energetic field within your center that is connected to God consciousness, 
it knows because it is eternal, okay? And so they've made us think that we're just human beings, that, um, that we are helpless, but we're not. We are powerful, eternal, divine beings, all right? So for those of you who just know on the inside that you're supposed to be doing something, you're supposed to be elevating, you're supposed to be growing, you know there is an, there's a venture that you're supposed to step out on, you know you're supposed to launch a business, or you know that there's a relationship that you're supposed to be in, you know that there's a truth that you're supposed to be living, but it's not popular. Let me tell you something, beautiful soul family. Popular is not gonna cut it in this hour. You gotta, you gotta find your truth. You gotta find your truth and you gotta be okay with your truth because the truth indeed will set you free, all right? So you have to trust your intuition. So this is why it is important for us to make sure that we are healed. This is why I, I teach the importance of soul healing, all right? Having knowledge is not enough. Having information is not enough. Don't let the, area, the age of Aquarius side trap you, okay? Because you can get overwhelmed with having knowledge and information and you can ignore your need for healing. But the reason why inner healing is important is because you wanna be able to clearly connect to what your heart is trying to reveal to you. You wanna be able to tap into that omnipotent energy that's flowing through you right now. You wanna be able to tap into that God consciousness, all right, that omnipotent consciousness, your intuition, right? So you want to make sure that you're not coming from a place of hurt or you're not making decisions from a place of fear. You're not making decisions from a place of trauma, okay? You have a sacred gift. Y'all do me a favor, just type it in the comments. It would bless my heart just to see you type it. You have a sacred gift. Sacred, that word means holy. It means to be set apart. It means to be consecrated. Come on. That's what holiness is. And all of that is happening on the inside of you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to say a prayer. You don't have to go to the altar and ask the preacher to, to, to lead you to the throne of grace. You don't have to do none of that, y'all. You don't need a praise and worship segment. You don't need to land on of hands. You need to take your own hand, all right, where that energy is flowing and you need to activate this sacred gift on the inside of you. You see what I'm saying? You need to wake up the prophet that's inside of you. You need to be able to trust your own intuition. You got a sacred gift, y'all. I'm telling you, and when you start using it, stop overthinking, stop overanalyzing, stop operating in fear and doubt and worry. Stop trying to please the crowd. Stop trying to please the audience. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Get delivered from what people think, get delivered from people's opinions and trust what you are getting on the inside. Trust what resonates with you. You're not crazy. Somebody needs to hear that. People think you crazy because they're not, they, they, they're not where you are. They're not on the path that you're on. You're not crazy. You're just aware and you're awakened to your God self. Okay? So intuition is your ticket to freedom. Intuition is your ticket to prosperity and abundance and healing. Intuition is going to shift your business to the next level. Okay? Intuition is going to heal your relationships. Intuition is going to heal your, your, your sicknesses and your diseases. Intuition is going to cause you to attract the love of your life. Okay? The, the love that you're waiting on right now, that person is already walking on the earth right now. 
you attract these things into your life from a heart space, from a heart space, from your gut, all right? So that's all I wanna tell y'all. Your intuition is your sacred gift. Trust it, use it. You know how you drive it in your car? Let me know if you've ever done this because I do this all the time. You know how you drive it in your car and you start getting just downloads. Nikita said, I need to hear this. I, I'm, I'm so glad somebody need this because I'm sitting here trying to enjoy my husband. And I'm trying to enjoy my sex on the beach. And I was like, I don't feel like going live. But my intuition said go live. So Nikita, maybe I just came on here to go live for you. You know how you're driving in the car and you get you you get this download, right? You just get this idea. And you know that if you implement this idea, you know if you do it, that it will change your fucking life. Now check this, peep this out. You don't really know how you're gonna do it. You ain't got that far yet. Here's the, here's the deal. Your intuition doesn't know the how. Somebody write that down for me. Put that in the comments. See, this is why Source gave us a left, a left hemisphere in our brain and a right hemisphere in our brain. The left side of your brain, that is, that is your analytical side, your business side, right? That's where you make all your business decisions from. Your right side of your brain, that's your, that's your flow side. Somebody say my flow side. That's your sexy side, your creative, your creative side, your spiritual side, right? If you can learn how to blend those two sides together, the two become one. Your masculine energy, that's your left side of your brain. And your feminine energy, that's your right side of your brain. That's what the Bible is really talking about when it says, and the two became one. Because <laughs> we are both masculine energy and we are feminine energy. We are both male and female. The church not ready for that secret right there. But for those of you that's ready for that, if you, if you can tap into that energy right there, and you can learn how to take your masculine energy, that's your business, your executive, analytical, logical, rational side, and you can marry that with your spiritual side, intuition, that prophet that's in you, that seer energy, that, 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 that part of you that just knows when you bring those two worlds together, you can create any fucking thing you want to. Yes, Nikita, when you're tapped into your intuition. So, you got a sacred gift, soul, family. Gods and goddesses, kings and queens. You got a sacred gift, man. Albert Einstein... Albert Einstein said that shit over a hundred fucking years ago. He said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift, but the rational mind is a faithful servant. If you can learn how to get your rational mind, your left brain, to serve your right brain, you can create any fucking thing you want. You see what I'm saying? This is why I don't have a problem with homosexuality because some people, even if they were born into what we, what we call a masculine male body, they might be more tapped into their fucking right brain energy. You see what I'm saying? Church ain't ready for that kind of conversation though. There's no such thing as a man or a woman to be honest. These are just concepts that we created. We both have these energies in us. Some people just are more charged to one side of their brain than the other. And so they end up manifesting in one energy sharper than the other one. You see what I'm saying? I'm all, I'm all, I'm all feminine, but that's just me. But I got a very strong masculine energy. I have no desire to be with women. I mean, it wouldn't be no problem, but I, it's, that's not what I desire. But I got strong masculine energy when it comes down to business. When it comes down to building my fucking empire. I'm building an empire, y'all. 
That's what Source told me to do. Source told me to build my empire, to leave a legacy in the earth. So I use my masculine energy to build my business, to build my brand, to create my programs, to create my products and services. And then I have to tap into my intuition, my feminine energy to figure out how to launch that shit, to put that shit out there so people will buy it. You see what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to know that you got a, you got a sacred gift, all right? And I want you to use it. I want you to learn how to use it to change your fucking life, okay? Make this world a better fucking place. Now, I'm getting ready to log out because I got something to do. I got something to take care of. I love y'all, all right? Have an incredible Sunday. If you a father, happy Father's Day to you. I honor all the kings, all right? All the gods in their respective places, all right? I'm getting ready to honor this one in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm about to honor him real good, y'all. Grace and peace. Peace and blessings, love and light. Namaste, Ashe. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for joining me. Love you, Nikita.